of your destiny. You must know the knowledge of your destiny. Somebody say the knowledge of my destiny. Shout again the knowledge of my destiny. In Jeremiah chapter 51 verse number 17, the Bible says, my Bible is not analog. It says, everyone is dark, hearted, without knowledge. Every metal smith is put to shame by the carved image. When you have got no knowledge, you become dull. Your mind becomes dull. So you must have the knowledge of your destiny. And that is why the food of your mind is knowledge. And the food for your spirit is revelation, which is the word of God. Matthew chapter 4 verse number 4. For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of of God. Somebody say amen. amen. So the first thing we said, you must be the best. Somebody say, I must be the best. I must be the best. Somebody say, I must be the best. I must be the best. Number two, you have to understand the times. Then number three, you have to develop yourself. Number four, refuse to be distracted. Refuse to be distracted. Not every party is your party. Not every visiting is your visiting. Yesterday when I was preaching in the evening, I said, there comes a time that you must be yourself. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You must know when you are in a place, how many minutes should you take there? How many minutes should you, what time should you be able to leave? And you must teach your mouth and your heart to say, I am leaving. Praise God. Amen. A man that does not make decisions cannot be able to make a decision for anybody. And that's why you need a laser beam focus and you need the tenacity to fulfill your destiny. Never waste your time of your life responding to people who are going nowhere. No. Don't let criticisms distract you. If you look unto the leaders, especially the presidents, there are people they don't answer. They cannot come to answer the critics from the MCA or the members of parliament or some some or some 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 some, some governors or some 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 senators. They can't because they are not of their level. So what do they do? They will look their agements, they will look their levelment so that they be the ones that are responding to them in the media. Praise the Lord. So don't waste your time responding to people who are going nowhere. Nehemiah, when he decided to build the, the wall, in, in Nehemiah chapter 6, verse number 12, Nehemiah did not accept destruction. Praise God. He did not accept destruction. He went to the wall, picked up the spear, and with the few people that Nehemiah had, and he started building the, the wall without anybody. Remember there were some ballots. In your lives and ballots will be there. Remember there were Tobias. Tobias are going to be there. Somebody say amen. amen. Distractors. People that will come to discourage you. People that will come to tell you what are you doing. But all you need so that you can be able to accomplish that which you have started, you need to stay focused. If you can't be focused without refusing destruction, you cannot accomplish that which you have started. Nehemiah chapter 6 verse number 12. The Bible says, Then I perceived that God had not sent him at all. But that he pronounced this prophecy against me because Tobias and Sanballat had hired him. Oh, I like this one. So there is a possibility that people can come in the name of God to discourage you concerning the decision and the direction that you are about to make. But you must never accept distractors to distract you. Somebody say amen. amen. The Bible says that he 
perceived. Not every prophecy is from God. There are people that are going to be sent in your life. There are people that are going to talk nice things. And some of them, those things they are going to tell you, they will make you look, they will make somebody to look bad in your life. Let's say, for example, somebody has worked with you all years. You have never seen the bad side of the person. You have never quarreled. But somebody will come to tell you, hey, Paul, you need to be very careful. That guy, that guy is not a good guy. Me, I know him very well. You must perceive. Somebody say, I must perceive. Somebody say, I must perceive. You must perceive. The Bible says, then I perceive that God has not sent him. Not every good advice is a right advice. Did I say something there? <laughs> Not every good advice is a right sure. advice. Yeah. If somebody tells you this guy, you don't just speak it and say this guy ni mutiaji. You need to take time. Listen to your spirit. Go through the experience and the lessons you have learned together. Go through your work with him. Go through some of the things you have done together. Find out is there any reason that can make me drop this guy. Hallelujah. Is there anything that can make me become angry? Is there anything that can make me not to work with him again? Is there anything that can make me disconnect? Or is it jealousy that is being provoked here? Because the Tobias and Sanballat, it is jealousy that provoked them to instigate Nehemiah from building the wall. Praise God. Amen. Can I say this one before I close? You must know the voice of Tobias and ne You must know the voice of Tobias and Sanballat. In some people's statements. Mm -hmm. Can I say it again? Yeah. You must know the voice of Tobias and St. Bernard. In some people's statements. And the only way to detect. The voice of St. Bernard and Tobias. Is when you can perceive. The Bible says that. And I perceive. Nehemiah 6. Verse number 12, then I perceive that God has not sent him at all, but he pronounced this prophecy against me because Tobias and St. Bernard had hired him. There are people that will be hired. There are people that will take coffee. There are people that will be given money. There are people that will be given some, some goodies so that they can bring you a prophecy to bring you down. But you must perceive the voice of St. Balat and the voice of Tobias in those that are sent in your camp. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Don't let anything distract you. Never waste your time on people who are going somewhere, nowhere. Distraction is the enemy of distinction that leads to destruction. Refuse the influence of the Sanballat and Tobias and their counterparts. Anything that is not your intention should not command your attention. So avoid distraction. Praise God. Amen. If something is not part of your intention, don't let it take away your attention. Praise God. We find that a divided focus equals to divided energy. And divided energy